Hey, what's up? Welcome back to another quick Flutter tutorial. In this one, I'm gonna show you how to navigate to different screens. And I'll also show you how to do it using routes to make our life easier. So I've got a really simple app here. So just to keep everyone on the same page, in my main function, I've got my app, and this gives us our intro page. And I've got this folder here for the two different pages. So this is what you see, the intro page. And I want to click this elevated button to go to the home page, which is this one. So when we press this button to go to a new page, the kind of raw way to do it is just go navigator.push. And then we have to say material page route and call this builder to go to the home page. So if you save this, and if we just test this out, if I click on the button, then yeah, it brings us to the home page. So this is kind of the default way to do it, I guess. But one thing that you can do if I just delete this is we can simplify this process by going to our main.dart file. And in your material app, you can define these routes. So for example, the first one I'm going to call home page. And then here you can specify which page you're referring to. And so in our code, let's say we go back to our button. We can just say navigator dot push is the one we used before but now we can say push named and so now in the route name we can just say home page and so this just makes it a lot easier when you're dealing with a lot of different pages here and there so it should do the exact same thing cool and when you come back to your routes you can always add more routes here so more pages so for example i mean i've got this intro page right now so we can also make that into a route and that's it. That's how you do navigation using routes in Flutter. By the way, if you're a beginner trying to get into app development, I wrote a little handbook for people like you who have no coding experience at all. I designed the book with a complete beginner in mind. So the book starts off with the basics of programming, and then I show you all of the essential widgets and concepts for you to start building apps yourself. This is a book that I really wish I had when I first started Flutter. So yeah, I hope this helps the beginners out there. I'll have it linked below.